Good morning. It's a, a 10.04 a.m. Um, on February the 23rd, 2019. Um, I posted some pictures of a, a rainbow orb that showed up in my picture last night right there beside me. It was at night time. And um, we're going to look at that right now. But this actually showed up. It was just right there, right beside me, this rainbow orb. We're going to look at this. Um, I, um, that, that, was pretty, that was pretty spectacular to see the rainbow orb showing up. And this is what like, the original image looked like at night. It was just like right there. And of course, uh, I took a few other pictures at the time, and it was these ones. Um, I, I don't really take very many pictures like this anymore. Uh, this one was there also that showed up in the main photo. I didn't work the photos, but I thought that was pretty interesting, but that's not really on... Well, I'll show you that one right there. That's not really why um, I'm on there, but that's, uh, that's a very... Uh, hello and good morning. Good morning to everyone. Yeah, um... That is uh, beautiful colors in that picture. Uh, rainbows are beautiful. <laughs> Just like all the colors of the color spectrum are there. Um, but uh, I wanted to point you to something that somebody commented uh, just a few minutes ago in the live video. I mean, in the, yeah, it was a live video that we had done of the sky. And I remember this video because I... Remember seeing this object flying, uh, you know, going through the clouds. So we're going to watch this video. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It is a beautiful day. Thank you, Polly, for your hearts that go flying up the screen. Um, let's look at this. Uh, I cannot pronounce the name, so forgive me when you see this. Um, this was a live video that um, I did. I'm going to see if we can see this. I've got the sound turned off, but we're going to zoom up on this. If you can see right here, there was something literally moving in the cloud behind the cloud. I'm going to enlarge it and um, I'm going to enlarge it and we're gonna go look back at that, but there was something moving in the cloud during that live video and I distinctly remember that because that the sky was so full of things that day. Uh, let's see if we can see it better on here. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? You see that line that was just there? I don't know what mark of the video it was, but it was right there. A, a straight any object in the edge? You see that line that was just there? We're going we're gonna to watch it again. There it goes. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? That's what I would do. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? You see that? So we're going to watch it one more time because it was there. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? You see that? That's what I would do. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? You see that? One more time. That's what I, would do. <laughs> I just want you to see that. Wow, you see that shiny object in the edge? You see that line? That would... Okay, yeah. I just wanted to point that out. I remember that video, and I really wanted to go back and look at that. But, you know, I do so many videos, I haven't really been able to go back. But I'm, I thank you for posting that video. And this looks like the same uh, object that shows up in some of the uh, videos. It's like a long bar-like. It's like a tethering thing. Yeah, you saw it. It was in one of the live videos, and I think that live video was done uh, a few weeks ago. It was not that long ago. Uh, but the sky was so full of clouds that day. It, it might have been longer than two weeks. I don't remember. Uh, but the, the person has also um, posted a video in the comment section of one that uh, they took in the sky. And I, I don't know what country this is from or what language this is, but this is uh, the video that they had taken also. I think that's uh, probably about it. I haven't, yeah, there's a, a slow motion of this right here. So these are UFO ships. They are up there in the sky, and they are real. You've caught them, and you've seen them in videos. Yes, Robin Ness, they are in the videos. 
and um, I'm not sure what they are. They're, the light ships are coming in around 100 per day. That's quite a uh, quite a large amount, but not too many. Um, yeah, so um, <laughs> oh, that'd be interesting to see what um, video it is. There's so many that it showed up in, I'm sure sure of it this one right here we're going to watch it again just there um i don't know what mark of the video it was but it was right there a, a straight edge i'll see if i can pull that up again if you're just wow, tuning you see in that shiny object in the edge you see that line that we... i'm gonna well okay see there we see it it is there in the clouds and it's moving i can't really zoom in on it that much oh it's um let's see Jasmine, a Sumatra of Orion at UFO. Oh, okay. that's good. Yeah, so if you're tuning in, um, I just wanted to point that out. And, you know, also the beautiful uh, rainbow orbs that had showed up last night right there beside me. It was just one. And um, I'm not sure what was inside of these because I did not take the time to look inside of those. Yeah. And good morning to everyone. <laughs> this is not going to be that long of a video, okay? I'm going to uh, probably end it right now, but I, I did want to draw your attention to that, that what we saw. And if you look right here, you can see also other things in the clouds behind. They blend so perfectly in. They look like a square with... Um, these little bitty squares in it you can see one up here and no it's not pixelated uh, these are actually in the clouds and they blend in quite well with the clouds um like see right there so you can find a lot of uh, good screenshots in these um live videos that are done that is uh, why i do those not just for you all, but for myself, because I like to see what's going on too. So you can see structures in here. You can see structures in here. You can see the dark uh, circles around the, uh, probably uh, windows right here in the clouds. Wow, this is a this is a good, thank you for uh, sharing this, because I don't have time to go back and look at all of these. Uh, good morning to everyone. I don't really have time to go back to look at every inch of these um, live videos, but... <laughs> And that's why that's why you're all there so you all can take your screenshots and share them with us because you know we need to know what's up there behind those clouds we need to know and uh, today we're getting a little glimpse a little more uh, in-depth information of what's up there in the clouds uh, I like to look at that that is really neat to see them like that up there because you know we always think that okay well we know there's something up there but uh, now we've got a better view and so this video really does have a lot of information packed in it, a lot of um, data in these clouds right here. And not just um, not just the one thing, but, uh, you know, several other things in here. Let's play this a tad bit. That's what I would do. What? Yeah, let's look at that. See, it's just moving. And um, I don't know if it's a great big ship or what. I really don't but we know it's in there we know there's more than one thing in there because there's there's thing is in here up here you can clearly see them yeah you can see the outline of the structures that are behind the clouds uh, and it makes pretty good cover for them good morning a good morning to everyone <laughs> Good morning to everyone because it is morning time and it's morning time here also yeah so i hope today maybe i can go back and look at the two live videos that um we got this just this past week i think it was on thursday i really want to look at those also because i'm i'm pretty sure and i know there's stuff in those yeah you see the ship yeah there's a lot a lot of a lot of ships up here in the clouds a whole lot Yeah, this ain't just uh, pixelated or anything. These are actually up there in the sky. Uh, I'm just going to try to go through here fast. I know that's a lot of clouds, but we're going to just look at that. You know, look at that. Look at that. Just look at that. This is a really good shot right here. 
that's a really good shot you just pause that video because it's in the comment section if you just pause that video you'll be able to see these um, mega structures mega ships right behind those clouds and saludos uh, buenas ideas uh, um, look at that that is absolutely amazing to see these on here. They are they they are clearly defined. Yeah, this con this uh, short uh, clip of the live video is in the comment section. Someone has uh, uh, very generously uh, posted it with us, shared it with us. Look at that. Um, look at this straight edge up inside of here. It just makes you wonder. Well, I hope it's not the Borg because I watched that and that was kind of scary. It just makes you wonder what is this behind these clouds because it is humongous. It is humongous. Oh my goodness. That was a big cloud because, you know, we see these big clouds go across the sky by the sun in these live videos and people see these big clouds also when they're taking pictures uh yes they mean business <laughs> yes this is this is really awesome uh, sandra uh, yes it is um look at that i've not seen it like in a still shot like this but i'm very thankful for them to bring that to our attention because you know i know a lot of time has passed but these are wow that is pretty neat. It really is neat. And I'm sorry I'm moving the camera around like this, but I'm just trying to uh, take all this in, these edges and stuff that are up there. This is real. What's up there in the sky, this is real. And, you know, if you're catching images like this in your pictures, don't let someone, if you're trying to show them, don't let them to discourage you. Say, I don't see nothing. That's nothing there. It's over pixelated and stuff. Don't believe them. Okay, you just believe, just keep that hope and belief as, and alive inside of here, okay? Um, that, <laughs> that, that is really uh, impressive. You have similar still shots on your Facebook Anthony Costello posts. Um, I wish I could see that comment here. If um, I could get to yours. I'd have to go to my live video. I haven't even got my live video up. I don't know if I can see the comments um, that are on here. I'm going to try to see if we can see over there really fast. I've not done this before, uh, opening up a link while I'm doing a live video. Uh, I'm not able to go there because this content is not available. Uh, so somebody on here or even me may be blocked from seeing that. So I can't uh, show the the link that you said i i can't <laughs> or i would i really would and right now on this live video i'm only i can't see the live feed the comments as they come because it's like stuck see so that's kind of a bummer but that's okay that's okay we have a in the comments section a brief a brief video that was posted a screenshot uh, one of my live videos where they show this uh, a long uh, UFO like ships. Oh, Paul, you'll send the photo, Paula. Okay, you yeah, know, you'll see those long ships in there. Okay, let's see. Okay, well, we're gonna watch this, we're gonna look at this other one uh, that Darren Dave um, he posted. He posted on the in the comment section of a, a Pleiadian, a light being ship. We're going to look at this. This is really good footage. It's around a minute long, uh, uh, a video, so that's good. Look at that. This is absolutely amazing, Darren.
Again, um, this is shared in the comment section by Darren Dave. Uh, good morning. I really love these um, the comments that are put in here because, you know, you're providing valuable data and information for all of us to see. I want to look at that video again of this um, Palladian Light Being Craft uh, Processing 5D Gamma Light. Okay. Um, you can see uh, Darren's thing here, but we're going to watch it. Uh, one more time because I haven't seen anything like this before. This is really wonderful. Okay, if you're just tuning in, this was in the, the comment section also. Some wonderful footage uh, by Darren, um, Darren Dave, and uh, Monica. Monica shared this right here. Monica Wiedemann, she shared that. And, um, yeah, thank you. This is very, very, very good. It is very good to share things like this in the comment section for people to see. Because it uh, adds a further validity to what we're watching, what we're seeing in the skies. Uh, it really does. It could be a wormhole. You know, they probably can uh, just manifest anywhere in the skies. Um, I'm not sure what it is, but that's it's pretty interesting. It really is. I know a lot of people know what they're looking at. You know, and there's so many people watching the skies all around the world for, and you know, uh, in all areas of study they're watching the skies you know each person's focus on their own little things but uh it, it is absolutely amazing it really is so um <laughs> oh my goodness this is this is really spectacular to see it really is and i'm just scrolling down through these uh comments uh, things to see if there's any more um neat looking um, things to share because you know we don't always look in the comment sections we really don't wow this is a oh wow this is from Kathy look at this look at that mega cloud that is wonderful uh, thank you Kathy yeah that is uh, <laughs> that is humongous it really is um, and, and let's see Stella's yeah I don't mind going through here and zooming up on these because you know I think it's a uh, you know, if you um, took the time to share it, uh, I can take the time when I see it to share it also even more so. We can share things on here. That's what these comment sections are for. And don't think, well, nobody's going to see my post because nobody clicks like or anything. We see it. And a lot of people don't click like, but that's okay. You know, it doesn't mean that it was not seen because it was seen. It was seen. Um... Uh, Google Earth. Let me see this. Let's, uh, John Fox, let's zoom up on your Google Earth thing at this uh, ship right here. And this cloud like structure. Oh my gosh. That is a. Uh... Well, they're not hiding too well in that. <laughs> they really aren't. They are not hiding too well. Um, uh, John Fox. That, that that's pretty neat i like looking at that also yeah so you see these clouds they are all these weird shapes and things they really are hmm oh my goodness let's see um we have polly's photo right here of this sun she said it was like a box shaped cloud in the sky uh, somewhere in here well this is kind of zooming out yeah, they want to be seen. Well, they're being seen, and, you know, not just us, but a lot of people are showing them. Good morning. Good morning to everyone.
I'm just going to scroll back up. I was going to make this a short video, but um, that's okay. It'll be as long as it's supposed to be. It really will be. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I, we're going to look at those. Uh, it is exciting, Maria. It's, it's very exciting. Uh, it's exciting times that we live in, and yet scary times for some people because, you know, we're facing the great unknown, uh, uncharted territory. <laughs> um uh, Ronald Cox, um, uh, uh, yeah, my hair has been cut. Yeah, it got a little bit shorter. Uh, I don't like it this short. I like it grown out more. I really do. But, you know, it'll grow out in time. Within a month, it'll be longer. Yeah, Polly, yeah, you saw, you shared some close up. Yeah, it'll be a, a tad bit longer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And hola, hello, good morning, good afternoon. Um, I wish I could see these comments sections, but I, I can't. It's still stuck like there. Yeah, well, thank you. Yeah, but we're going to look at these again. This is a blow this up into a mega screen. We're going to look at this one more time. As this uh, goes through the cloud, it just made its way right through there. So if you're tuning in, we're going to look at it again. Yeah, there it is. You see, it, it goes straight through the clouds. It starts off over here, and it just makes its way straight through. And this is part, just look how big this structure is. Again, it is humongous. And they're all probably interlinked with one another. But this uh, is a short clip on, the, um, on my page that someone put from my live video in the comment section. If you're just here... Uh, the pure love. Well, I like beings of pure love. I, I wouldn't want anything less, although we have people who are not so loving, but that's, you know, it takes all kinds in this world. It really does. If we didn't see the bad, we wouldn't appreciate the good in our life. Yeah, and if we didn't have bad times, we would not appreciate the good times. If we didn't see bad people, you know, we wouldn't appreciate the good people. Yeah, you just, uh, it helps us to become more appreciative. It really does. Look at the look at these uh, clouds right here. They are like a staggered form inside there, like steps, and it just. It's also strange, you know, seeing all this, and I, this is really impressive. Look at this. It's like some type of a connection right there. Look, this looks like literally looks like an opening. It really does. And this again is this is in the comment section. That looks like um something that they would go in and out of. Um Yeah, these photos <laughs> they are mesmerizing, you know, because you sit there and look at it and think, what on earth is that and what is that for? Um yeah, like they're separating, you know, uh these big um, uh, portals, yeah, Coral King, these big structures that are behind the clouds, they could be a whole bunch of them all hanging together and stuff, and they probably do have a, the ability to separate one from another. Yeah, windows could be windows, yeah. It could be, but whatever this is, and this is from a live video that we uh, watched, that is really impressive, that right there part. Um I just want to try to look at that again. It is neat to just go back and look at um, these live videos. Um, look at that. Well, I can't find that cursor right here. There are people who probably dissect these videos, every inch of every, every frame of these live videos. And, you know, that's what they do for a living. And that's what they like to study and things like that. And it could be their hobbies and things. Um, I'm seeing something else over here in this corner of this cloud. Right over here in this area, it is like another square-like shape that is shown up. And it's kind of like that one we were looking at in here. We're going to go to that light ship in a minute. Let's watch this thing move. This, that black thing right there. Let's watch this area right here. You see it coming out? 
it comes out of the cloud more. If it gets closer up there, I can't see what I'm doing. Well, that's pretty big right there. Look at this. This is a round circular thing too up there. Um, I want to see how much that moves. Well, it moved a lot because I went too fast. But uh, yeah, there's a there's things on. There's a lot of things in the clouds, a whole lot. And um, we're gonna watch this other video too, right here. There's another short one again because these were the ones that were featured. Uh, this is from I can't pronounce the the language. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, you see that. And, you know, truth be known, these are, a lot of this is out in clear view for everybody to see, but not everybody's looking. I've seen these notches before uh, underneath the layers of clouds, too, these great big ships that uh, hide behind the clouds. We're not alone. Uh, that box, uh, yeah, that box is what you saw, yeah. Yeah, we're not alone. Um, there are, there is life up there. And that there's probably is life inside the earth also. If you haven't heard that before, uh, there's supposed to be um, some races of extraterrestrials inside the earth too. And, you know, you ever see that uh, movie, Journey to the Center of the Earth? You think, where, where do they get those ideas from? Um, I think there's some truth to that. There's something inside the earth, or they wouldn't make these uh, movies and stuff like that. Everything you see, uh, I believe, uh, exists part. There's part truth of it. And they just let us out there and make us think it's a sci-fi. How can this be? But it is. Uh, Paul, you have been Apollo telepathic transmissions from them over a year, and what they are doing is so beautiful. Well, that is wonderful, and thank you for sharing that with us. Um, we're going to watch this light shift again. I want to put this in here. Um, I want to get to one. Oh. Okay, so you see how this light like, cloud like illuminates it? You know, and I know a lot of you all have taken pictures, and in the clouds, it looked like there's a bright spot in the clouds. Now we know what we're looking at. It's these Pleiadian light ships. Like when you're um, out there taking your picture, and you're thinking, uh, well, there's the sun, it's bright, and these clouds are emanating light. Well, now we know what it is. Because we just sat there and watched that, uh, you know, the light just moved from one section of the cloud to the other. So, uh, yeah, Darren Dave, he uh, just took this on February the 20th. So that's not too long ago at all. February the 20th. Um, so um, let's see if we can, uh, I'm going to see if what happens if we go to his page. To see if there's anything else on his page. Um Well, I'm not saying much of anything else. Um, the Schumann Resonance. <laughs> yeah, um, I didn't really know much about this right here. The Schumann Resonance. Uh, this was 23 hours ago, if you keep track of that. kind of reminds me of... Um, freak it, it is a, a frequency that's being admitted. You can go check that out and check out uh, what it says about um, Schumann Resonance. Because I think there's a lot of information in there that you can uh, use, and um, it helps you 
know what you're feeling and stuff. <laughs> it really does. Um, yeah, we are not alone at all. I wish I could see the comments on here of the live video that is showing, but I'm not able to do that because it's just showing me only these uh, few comments right here. I can see the feed of comments as it goes down, and it's kind of a bummer, and I can't go back. And yes, we do, Robin Ness. We educate one another. Uh, we combine all of our information and data together, and it helps put the picture together. Yeah, Earth's heartbeat. Okay. Thank you, Monica. Yeah. <laughs> I know if you have a lot of uh, positive energy in you and you're feeling all happy and you come around somebody who's all negative and in a bad mood, you want to just poo, get away from them right away because you think, no, you ain't going to bring down the atmosphere because there are some people uh, who can walk into a room or walk near you and they literally bring down the atmosphere and they want to bring down the atmosphere. They got a bad attitude, These uh, some of these people, uh, because they just want to cling to that. That's all they know. Or maybe they just love it. Uh, yeah, they bring down the atmosphere and they're proud of it. Well, we're not proud of it. That's why we just stay away from it. We don't need it. We don't want it because we want to keep our um, vibrations up and our uh, attitude up and our positive we want to be positive. <laughs> yeah, they suck the life right out of you, but you know what? I think each of us have learned over time to not let those type of people suck the life out of us, uh, you know, because they are overly critical, condemning, condescending, and they just have something bad to say about everything. And, you know, uh, if you want to be positive, well, they'll think if you want to be positive and have an outgoing uh, outlook, and they'll find something to try to bring you down and think of, well, they may not turn out the way you think it is, and they'll just tell you the total opposite and just bring you down. Just stay away from people like that. You don't need it. You don't need it. And, it, I mean, it's not nice, you know, to avoid people like that, and they may feel the cold shoulder, but uh, you're, you have got to protect yourself, okay? You have got to protect yourself. And hopefully over time, you know, this, uh, this uh, good feeling, this uh, positive attitude, this good vibrations within you, uh, they will rub off on someone else. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're just tuning in at the start of this video, um, this uh, bright, uh, beautiful colored orb showed up right at night, right here. This is uh, where it showed up, right there by the camera, right here beside me. This beautiful uh, colored orb. Um, And this is really what it looked like without any uh, doing uh, the picture, any uh, adjusting any other color right here. And this is also a like a light beam that like shot across the sky. I shot out right in front of me uh, during that picture. And these other ones, they showed up also. And these are, you know what, these layers of this. You see these layers of this? I know you may not be able to see them right here, but these things are layered. And it kind of reminds me of the layers that are in the cloud. You see these black circles right here? This is what uh, looks like we saw in the clouds, these black circles um, right here. But if you would look closely, these are like in box layers. I know it's blurry. That is, it's too close up, but they are in layers, and it does look like the layers that were in the clouds of um, the video that was shared in the comment section. Let's see this. Um, I can see comments um, underneath this one right here, um, a Merkaba right here. I, I guess that's how you say it, a rainbow Merkaba and a light ship, uh, Amanda Lowe's. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Yeah, that, that does look like what we're looking at, looking at. Denny Homan. Yeah. That is amazing, you know, so don't uh, shy away from sharing your uh, pictures in the comment section. Not a, not even if you think, well, people aren't going to know what this is or whatever, but I really want to share it. But then I don't know. I don't want to be rejected. You're not going to be rejected. Share your pictures in the comment sections, okay? We like to see what you have. We really do. Um, yeah. I'll see Mia. Let's see what Mia, she zoomed up on us. Uh, she sees a figure inside of here. So thank you, Mia. 
Yeah, yeah. So that uh, that looks like the uh, rainbow orb. She said, I worked your pictures that you posted, and there are so many dimensions, it was hard to fil filter them out. Um, so uh, uh, we probably are peering into different dimensions. Um, and, and if we are seeing into different dimensions, uh, that means that um, we're doing it from the inside, okay? <laughs> uh, and connecting with these higher dimensions. And you really want to... Um, connect with the higher dimension. You don't want to be stuck in a 1D, 2D, uh, low, lower vibration. I guess the higher, the higher you are on the inside, the more happier, the more love you admit, uh, the higher the dimensions you're going to be able to um, uh, capture and see into and uh, resonate with. Uh, let's see, Mia. Um, yeah, I see these uh, square-like faces. I see these faces... Um, and if they're, if we are tapping into other dimensions, then they mean, uh, uh oh, it's a robot. Well, I hope there's not robots up there, but I would not rule out <laughs> the idea of a robot up there because you know, they're up there. <laughs> they really are. Uh, does anyone else astral travel into other dimensions? Um. Robin and Nuss, I am sure there's a lot of people who do, and they just don't tell it because they don't want people to think that, you know, they're way out there. But I've heard of a lot of people who do astral travel. I've talked to them. Yeah. A 528 hertz to resonate in this frequency. That's, that's good. That really is good. Um, I'm going to try to um, <laughs> I'll show you something in a minute. I'm, I'm trying to um, bring something up, okay? Just one moment, please. <laughs> oh, my goodness. One moment. Um, I'm not good at navigating while talking and um, multitasking. I can multitask, but it all depends on what that multitasking is that I do. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, one moment. I am, I'm looking for something, and we're, I want to keep that train of thought, the 528 um, hertz. 528 hertz. I want to keep that train of thought, Okay. Just you just hold on there and I am I'm looking up something that I am um, I want to share I do oh Polly's got to take a commercial break I don't, yeah that is kind of like a commercial break okay so I'm um, I'm looking for something really fast the 528 megahertz okay okay all right, now um, I know I don't know if uh, many of you have heard of Karen McDonald. Uh, she ha does a lot of research, and she's really um, uh, very, very informative in a lot of areas. Uh, but anyhow, I had a chance to talk to her, and she did uh, this bio thing on me, and this is what my aura looked like uh, the first time she took it. Um, I don't really know much about charcas and stuff, but this was uh, a very first feedback thing she did of my aura. And then she punched in a few codes in like a maybe 15 minutes, um, excuse me, a maybe 15 minutes uh, later, she did another picture. And then this is what it looked like. It looked like this. And then uh, she punched in uh, another few items. Okay, these colors. Uh, this was my aura after around uh, 15 minutes because she wanted to see, you know, after... Um, doing what she does. I don't know how she does it, but um, I was very thankful because uh, it's, it's very interesting and it's all new to me. And it, it was Karen McDonald. You can find her on Facebook. I think she has a lot of different um, Facebook uh, groups and stuff. And also maybe on the YouTube channel, her with um, uh, Patty Bassard. Very, very, uh, very knowledgeable about a lot of things. Okay. Um, I'm going to flip uh, into one more what my uh, we're talking about megahertz so um she did one final thing 
uh, I think it was around a few minutes later after she had did something else. Um, I don't know what she did, <laughs> something uh, spiritual. Uh, but this is then what my uh, aura looked like. It ended up looking like this. Isn't that neat? That was uh, my aura. And it was some kind of like bio um, feedback thing, scalar technology or something. Yeah, SCIO uh, medicine. Yeah, it worked. It really did work because when she was doing that afterward, I had, uh, she showed me that and I said, well, I do feel total peace on the inside. Just total peace. Yeah, so uh, that's what uh, my aura looked like after she finished doing whatever it is that she does. And um, yeah, it, 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 is, it, was, it was neat for me. <laughs> so I went from that right there. I, I mean, that, that's me. That was my final, that was my final thing within a few, I don't know how many minutes had passed. Uh, but she wanted to give it time to resonate, uh, to go back in my uh, body. But that's what it was. That was my final uh, thing that she did. And I want to get, uh, I'll show you what I, I, I started off with when she first took it. It was right there. I started off with that. Um, I'm going to flip this back around. And then uh, it changed to that. Then she did a little bit more stuff right there. Flip this back around to me because uh, I can't flip through these. It won't let me. But I did save these uh, in a screenshot. And then it ended up um, right there. So, um, yeah. So that, that's neat. And if you haven't had a chance to check her out or Patty Broussard, uh, I would check them out, you know, because it takes all of us to fit these pieces together. You know, we're all working together. And we're all different in, in our own unique ways. We all have our own unique gifts and things. And, um, yeah, I like it. <laughs> I, I like uh, connecting with people. I really do. It, it's quite interesting. Um, uh, Polly, isn't that wonderful? Because they are able to see your aura. That's, that's absolutely wonderful. It really is. Hello, Diane McLaughlin. You showed your uh, crow, Harry Bowen. I don't know what crow crow means. Uh, I, I think so. I don't really know how to uh, spell it. I don't. Uh, Patty's name, I don't. And I'm all new to this. I really am. And I don't know much about them. I don't know much about a lot of people who are out there because I'm very new, okay? <laughs> I'm just now reaching out, branching out, little by little. Um yeah <laughs> oh my goodness but yeah that's an, and then, then let's look at this beautiful uh rainbow orb from last night that is a i love those colors i really do and you know they do remind me of the rainbow light ships that are up there there are rainbow light ships up there and i was just thinking about that i thought you know what they have the same rainbow colors as these ships right here and they are these are rainbow ships and then i had the rainbow orb and it, isn't, it, isn't it neat that our charkas or whatever this aura is, it can be uh, any a spectrum of these uh, rainbow colors. Isn't that wonderful? It really is. Um, you're very welcome, Polly. I think it's exciting. I really do. Um, it's 1048. <laughs> Yeah, and um, I'm probably going to be uh, ending this video, but I'm going to go back, start to where we ended, okay? Uh, we're going to show that one, uh, one more time that um, the one reason I got on here, well, I've got on here for a lot of reasons. I wasn't going to get on here and do a live video, but I thought, you know what, I'm just going to get on here. I'm going to do a live video. <laughs> yes, we're going to watch this uh, one also again. We are. We're going to flip this around one more time and we're going to watch it as it uh, goes through the clouds right there you've seen it it goes right through the clouds um, we're going to do that we're going to see it one more time go through the cloud 
there you see it right there we just keep zooming in and you'll see the long bar go through the clouds okay I'm going to show the other one also that we were looking at I've got to do the escape screen we're going to see the other one that we were looking at it got posted and I'm sorry I, I can't I make out the name Yeah, the 65,000 people, Paula, uh, Polly Temple. That's right. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. Oh, oh. I, 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 yeah. So there is one of these, like, cigar-shaped ships. I think that's what it is. Uh, And you all have probably seen some of those in your videos too. And then we wanted to see this light ship again, this light ship. Thank you for those beautiful hearts, Polly. So if you are looking at the sky and you're seeing like these bright patches that appear in the sky behind the clouds, it's probably these light ships. So now I'm no longer going to wonder what that is because now I know, thanks to the sharing of this uh, video by Darren Dave. On a Nalaba Lobby Instagram. Yeah, and uh, I don't know if it was actually shared by this Noah Lobby. Uh, I don't have Instagram, but uh, Darren shared that. So, um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, I am going to end this live video, and um, it's been nice having you all on here with me this morning. It really has. Um, I feel kind of bad because I haven't been over to the YouTube channel for a long time. It's been around two and a half three weeks and I'm a little slacking <laughs> oh my gosh but I'll get over there when it when I guess I'm meant to get over there yeah so if you're on YouTube and you're seeing this I'm sorry I just haven't made myself do that yet yes you all have a good weekend too and I this is I like this video I do because there's a lot of positive and informative things a lot of information and data that was shared um, and a lot of uh, comments back and forth. So that's wonderful. So I'm going to flip this back around. I am. And, um, and thank you for everyone who comments in the comment section because we want to read your comments. We want to know what's going on in your world because it's going on in our world. Okay. I thank you, Mia. Um, so let's just end this right here.